Hey, Melissa Blair here. It is time for recap of week three in the 21 days of healthy habits with Purica. And we made it, it's day 20 of 21. So I'm gonna give some couple moments here for some people to jump on. It's been a great, uh, great week hopefully for everyone. And today we're gonna recap just healthy habits that you can install to help optimize your recovery. So we have been covering the three pillars of health over these 21 days. First one, first week, we looked at nutritional habits. Week two, we looked at making fitness a daily habit. And these last seven days, we have really been focusing on optimizing recovery. And so we looked at sleep as well as relaxation, helping our body with stress management and stress support. So today we actually had a ton of questions come in, some direct messages um, diving into sleep and recovery. So if you have any particular sleep uh, and recovery questions, be sure to jot them in the chat. We will follow up with those as well. But I'm gonna dive right into just a little recap of what we looked at this week as far as making healthy habits to optimize recovery. We started off the week with sleep. And in my, in my opinion, I will state it as sleep is the most important component of optimizing recovery. Why? Because our body can only rejuvenate some cells while we are at rest. So looking at um, what's the difference between quantity and quality of sleep. And so a lot of times, you know, someone can actually brag, oh yeah, I can, you know, I can survive on four hours of sleep and I'm good. Well, you might be able to survive, but you're definitely not thriving on four hours of sleep. It is, um, it's ideal to get seven to eight hours of sleep. And one of the things we looked at was naps count. That's really key in the sense of it doesn't have to be a solid go to bed, wake up seven or eight hours later. You can incorporate some really restorative naps as well. So make sure that when you are potentially journaling how your sleep is going, that you can include, okay, you know what? I took a 30 minute nap or whatnot to help accumulate those hours. So um, one of the actual questions that we had come in was in fact, are there any uh, alternatives to help with sleep aside from melatonin that quality sleep was a real issue. And so absolutely, my one-two punch for enhancing sleep is magnesium bisglycinate from Purica. It's a powder format. It comes in berry or citrus and literally like a heaping teaspoon in about 50 mils of water two hours before you want to go to bed and be consistent with that. So our, our body needs, this is, it will say on the, on the label, uh, muscle relief. And our, our, our muscles need calcium to contract and magnesium to relax. So if you suffer from like uh, muscle cramping or uh, calf cramps uh, while you sleep or you wake up with cramps, that is a sign that you are deficient in magnesium. So that magnesium helps your body to relax. And I pair that up with red reishi, which is our cognitive turnoff. There's this term called monkey brain. And actually women suffer more from monkey brain than men do, statistically speaking, um, or maybe we just admit it. And basically that's when you lie down and your mind decides to just solve every world problem as soon as your head hits the pillow. So reishi, what it helps do is it relax your cognitive function. So the magnesium helps your muscle to relax and then, then the, the reishi pairs up with your mind to relax. So that pair is an awesome combo to just get a really quality restful sleep. And the red reishi comes in capsules, but it also comes in Purica's Zensation blend in two different ways. And this has been my um, go-to recently just because it tastes like a little hot cocoa treat and 
in the evening, again, about two hours before I want to go to bed, there's two options. So the chilled vibe is just strictly reishi and you're getting a medicinal dosage of the red reishi, which is like two capsules in one teaspoon of this. And again, you can just mix it in a little warm water or you can put it in a non-dairy milk, whatever you wish. You can have it hot or cold. And then the other one combines, it's called Evening Calm, and that's giving you the added benefit of ashwagandha, which is an awesome stress support uh, adaptogen, which we'll talk a little bit about later is in the sense of recovery. So it's a good hormone balancer as well. So either one of those sensation blends is a great way also for kids. If they're not a big capsule, it's completely um, a delicious option to put a little bit of red reishi cocoa powder in a little warm water about two hours before bed and let their little minds get a restful sleep as well. So um, that Calvin, I hope, um, addresses your question of a combination that you can incorporate without. I actually don't personally or with my clients use melatonin. I don't like messing with that cycle. I started using the reishi and magnesium a lot for travel with myself as well as with my clients so that they didn't suffer from jet lag. Because if you take melatonin and you start messing with those sleep cycles and then you get home to your regular time zone, you're all messed up. Where this is when you need it, you use it as far as the reishi, magnesium, just use it daily. You should feel um, an improvement within the first week, which is also really encouraging. So hope that addresses that first question of getting some assistance and support with quality sleep. Um, then we looked at, uh, let me just keep on track here with my listing. We looked as far as uh, recovery. What are some added habits that you can that you can incorporate to help your muscles recover and we went through let me just pull up what we went through on here we pulled through uh five so we talked about sleep hydration was number two so water 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 your muscle needs water your organs need water so looking at getting like one ounce of water per pound of body weight every single day. So start in the morning and continue it through the day so that you're consistently staying hydrated. With recovery, we need blood flow and circulation. So if you're dehydrated, that is going to inhibit that. Another thing would be a stress a stress busting activity. For some, you know, your mind might go right to, okay, workout. Well, if you want recovery, maybe workout another hard workout is not what you want because that's actually going to cause inflammation in your system. But maybe just doing some, um, you know, meditation, some prayer time, some deep box breathing. Again, anytime you have inflammation, you want to increase circulation and circulation of blood flow so that you're refueling the muscle that's been worked, but also in a cellular level, but also you need oxygen flow. So simply just taking some time to do some box breathing for like 10 to 15 minutes is a very restorative uh, activity that you can incorporate every single day and it's free and you can do it anywhere. Okay, so you might look at that as well and maybe incorporate a yoga or a Pilates class, which is a little bit slower in tempo and just helps, or even a stretch time where you can just uh, stretch through the muscles that were worked to help, again, promote circulation of blood and oxygenation. Then we looked at uh, supplement support. So balancing blood sugars first, actually, that's always key when, because in a holistic, natural sense, the first precursor to balancing hormones, which stress hormone we've talked about is cortisol. So to balance hormones, we need to balance your blood sugars. So looking back, you can look back in, <coughs> excuse me, go water, talk about hydration. Um, we look back at nutrition and looking at increasing your fiber, decreasing your sugars and getting a nice um, complete protein at each meal is what you want to look for. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, then we looked at supplement support. So when it comes to recovery, when you work out, you cause micro tears in your muscle. You're actually causing inflammation and that's a good thing. Inflammation when it's not chronic, gets a good pump to the muscle when you're training, but it also helps to, when we have inflammation, the body gets signaled to pump blood flow to there, which is what's gonna nourish the, the muscle and the cell, which is what we want. 
When you have chronic inflammation, whether that's from fatigue, dehydration, injury, etc., then a supplement support and my absolute go-to, and I've talked about this so many times, but Purica's curcumin is like, it really truly is rapid relief from inflammation. So if you have any kind of like stiffness in the joint, like knees or achy, any kind of arthritic uh, inflammation, it helps with all systemic inflammation. And so that on its own is definitely um, a daily habit that I personally use. The health benefits also go into digestion as well as skin. Um, it's just a great supplement to incorporate. They also have their recovery option. So the recovery extra strength takes care of soft tissue as well as joint support. So it's got the hyaluronic acid, which helps the cushioning of the joint, which is really important because just over time and wear and tear, it gets worn out. So you need to replenish that as well as got antioxidants, which is really important for soft tissue. It's got your uh, MSM, your glucosamine for joint support. It's just, it also has some of the magnesium in there and vitamin C. So it's just a great uh, total body uh, pain relief and recovery. And then they came out with the recovery 3.0. So it's like a hybrid between your recovery and your curcumin product. Now there's some components of the recovery extra strength that recovery 3.0 does not have. And so depending on what your needs are, it might be a better option to stick with, I have a, two clients actually that they feel better when they use the recovery extra strength paired with one curcumin as opposed to the pre-made ratio. But if you want convenience, sometimes it's really great just to have both combined in one product. So you, uh, you can go on purica.com and get the details so you can better uh, understand what might be best for your own personal use. So that's what we're talking about in the sense of recovery products. And then um, looking at the next day, we talked about you know things that can actually um, delay recovery or inhibit recovery. And I talked about three components, but really dove into sugar. So sugar is very inflammatory. And anytime you have systemic inflammation, you're inhibiting, you're inhibiting recovery. So the easiest thing to go is like, you know, first of all, identify what you might be addicted to. And if sugar is your thing, or maybe you don't know if you're addicted, the way you find out is you cut it out. You just quit. And if you get cranky and irritable and you get a headache, that is a sign. Those are all signs that your body is actually addicted to that substance. So the three that I did mention in this week's uh, segment, I think it was on day three, was sugar, caffeine, and alcohol. Those are highly addictive habits that a lot of people just mindlessly have. And so if at any point, I always have a rule of thumb, if there's anything that has just become a habit, nutritionally speaking, it's really interesting to discover how your body reacts without it. So if you have just habitually have a coffee or two or three or six a day, take it away. You can, you can either take it all away, all in one day, or you can just ease off. So if you have a regular three cups of coffee a day, just pair back and go, okay, you know what? I'm only gonna have one cup of coffee a day, especially if you're an individual that feels that they don't get quality sleep. It could be that you just have too much caffeine spill over in your system. So try cutting that back and see how you feel. If you have, I know for me, if I have a coffee after 12 o'clock noon, I will disrupt my sleep at night. I know it. And sometimes I have to remind myself by doing it and figuring out why am I not sleeping? Um, so you don't always have to add in a supplement. Sometimes you have to take out something that you just have an abundance of. So if it's sugar, caffeine, or alcohol, you can maybe rewind to uh, day four of this past pillar of recovery and see if some of those tips can help you pare back those and see how you feel on that. Um, so we looked at that because the key thing too is if you have an abundance of say caffeine and you have an abundance of energy. So hyperactivity um, was one of the signs and symptoms that you are actually 
uh, overtraining. So it's not always if you feel extreme fatigue that you're overtraining. If you get hyperactivity or hyperpigmentation, those are signs that your adrenal glands are stressed. So your adrenal glands help your body combat stress. When those are overtaxed, they might need some support. My go-to combo for that would be Vitality from Purica is amazing. It's an adaptogen, uh, adaptogen adrenal support. And you just take two capsules of this in the morning and see how that feels. If you still feel um, that you need support through like adrenal support, a great combination that I personally use and a lot of my clients use would be adding in the ashwagandha. So I would take vitality in the morning and then I would take two ashwagandha uh, sort of mid afternoon to help my body start to wind down before I know my day is ending. So again, that one, you might want to use the Zensation, which has uh, the Evening Calm, which has the Red Rishi for sleep, as well as the Ashwagandha. So the great thing is, I love the fact that Purica gives you different options. If some people, capsules are the way they like to go. Some people don't really do capsules well. So all of them are available in powder format. And they've made something like Zensations where it's actually, it tastes good because not gonna lie, not all adaptogen mushrooms taste good. So if you're, I'm gonna speak, I love coffee and I've tried several brands um, mushroom coffees. They are not coffee, it's not my jam, and I just don't really enjoy the flavoring of some mushrooms. So it's great to have an option that actually tastes fantastic as well. So there's some um, supplement support for sleep and recovery. We talked about magnesium and red reishi as an option that doesn't use melatonin. We talked about muscle recovery. So reducing inflammation promotes circulation. That is the key to optimizing your bodybuilding endeavors. And that is just muscle recovery. So if you find that you are really sore after a workout, make sure that you're hydrated first and foremost. Make sure that you're including a complete protein in your meals, especially post-workout. So the Purica Vegan Protein Powder I mentioned this past week, and it's a great option for um, a meal replacement. So if you are having to have a convenience meal after your workout, maybe you don't have time to like sit down and pull out a knife and fork, their powder comes in, their protein powder comes in a sprouted fermented vegan protein powder with added chaga mushroom, which is an antioxidant, really powerful antioxidant, uh, which helps with free radical damage from your workout. As well, they've got a digestive enzyme added. So a vegan protein powder, generally speaking, is not as bioavailable to the muscle as say a whey isolate. But the fact that they have sprouted and fermented the protein sources and they've added an antioxidant and a digestive enzyme eliminates that gassing and bloating that maybe you have experienced before from a vegan protein powder. So that I really love as well. Um, which brings us into our probiotics. So I had a question, um, actually I had three people question in about um, how probiotics help with recovery. And in so many ways, but it also depends on what your individual needs are. And we mentioned this, I mentioned this in Nutrition Week of the probiotic of their Digest Reset. And it's seven day vial of your probiotic, but it also has an inclusive prebiotic. So it's a liquid format. There's seven little um, vials in here. Before you ingest it, you literally press the cap down, which is mixing the prebiotic and the probiotic. You shake it, you shoot it, you go to bed. So I encourage you to take your probiotic away from other supplements or, medic or prescriptions and before you go to bed and try not to have a sugar substance food in your meal before. So say like d having fruit just before you have your um, probiotic, try not to have a, a dense sugar, either natural or artificial, pre and post taking your probiotic. So for seven days, doing the digest reset, the, the thing is, is that a probiotic needs prebiotic fibers 
to multiply. So the thing that makes this reset so resetting and so effective is that you are mixing the prebiotic with the probiotic so that it does its magic while you sleep. I really noticed um, like great results day three, day four for a lot of my clients. I had a, I had a lot of clients actually try this this past week and the, like the results have been awesome. The other thing is once you do this, this is kind of like a Kickstarter. So it gets you in the habit of doing it daily. It gets you in the habit of taking your probiotic before bed. It gets you in the habit of not eating after you've taken it. So there's so many healthy habits that are attached to just doing this one thing. So I think this is a great return on investment as far as your effort of trying to incorporate a healthy habit. Once you finish that reset, depending on what your um, sort of signs and symptoms of discomforts or dysbiosis were, then you could dive into a different probiotic to help support that. As far as your recovery, I would suggest the intensive GI probiotic. So this is a 30 day supply. It's in capsule form. Take it at the same time in the same way. So no sugar before, no food or drink after, go to bed. And this helps with um, basically anxiety or discomfort and IBS. So any of those elements that, again, can disrupt your recovery process, whether that be interrupting your sleep, um, whether that be disrupting your digestive system and your nutrient absorption, this is a great 30 day follow up recovery wise speaking to your reset. So that is going to be, this is going to be one of the giveaways I, for the today, just so you know, someone's going to just totally reset their gut with that combination. Um, but again, if you have more of, you know, a cardio component, cardiovascular, they have the probiotic cardio. So again, you can go to purica.com, read all the descripts of what the four different probiotics focus on and see which one is best for you. And if you have direct questions, just shoot off an email and say, you know what, this is what, or even shoot me an email directly at Get Fitlicious. This is kind of my signs and symptoms, which one might be best. Carte Blanche, you, like I would say definitely anyone and everyone could benefit from doing the seven day reset. And even after I did the reset, once I started my regular probiotic again, it was more effective. So like just the clarity of my mind, the clarity of my skin, I noticed a big difference with that as well. So that just tells me there was some like residual, you know, free radicals in my system that I had just become complacent with. So if you have that, that might lead to things like brain fog or headaches. That was one of my signs. I had like headaches and I had my skin started to break out. So that told me, okay, I need a gut check. So there we have it. We've got your sleep pillar, which is the most important. If you are not sleeping, you want to definitely address that. You need to wind down. Go back to this week's pillar and look at the three, two, one wind down before bed, right? Three hours before bed, two hours before bed, one hour before, before bed. What should you not be doing? Okay, so go back and watch that video if you missed it. Um, then you want to look at replenishing your hard work. So if you've worked out, make sure that you're getting a complete protein, make sure that you're having that post-workout meal within 45 minutes of that workout, really important there, as well as just providing the supplement support and the habit support of reducing inflammation and promoting circulation. Okay. Circulation of blood and circulation of oxygen. Breathe it will do amazing things, especially in a time where a lot of us have been holding our breath and covered in a mask, okay? So just get some fresh air, take some time and just nice deep inhale, take 10 seconds to inhale, hold it for five to 10 seconds and exhale out for a little bit longer. And that will just get, you might feel lightheaded when you do that, that's a sign that you've been holding your breath, okay? So definitely need some air, need some blood flow, need some H2O and that will help you optimize your recovery. So there's our recap. Now it's the most exciting time for me and for you. It's the giveaway. And these giveaways have been unbelievable. I'm just saying like, and it's so like, like incognito unbelievable, but the prize packs are like valued at like a couple hundred bucks for each prize pack. And we got three of them. So I'm going to pull up the list of entrants for this week. And this is totally random. 
and the first um and if you have any questions based on recovery be sure to just still pop them in the chat or direct message them through okay either to purica or to me at get Felicious. um so the first one what i want to do is i want to put someone to sleep <laughs> if you haven't fallen asleep yet i'm gonna put you to sleep so this is the this is seriously my go-to for quality sound amazing sleep magnesium and red reishi, the sin capsule format. So I'm going to just close my eyes and I'm going to touch this winner. And this is Becky Hogg from Duncan. You are the winner of red reishi and magnesium. That's amazing. This is my every day. I am absolutely in love with that combination. Um, okay, so I'm gonna highlight that one. Congrats, Becky. Next up, we're gonna go with uh, curcumin, which is amazing. And this is gonna go with your um, recovery extra strength. So this gives you the benefit of both products. So one recovery extra strength with your curcumin is gonna go to our next winner. Do, do, do. I feel like I have to totally close my eyes for this. Okay. And this is for uh, Rosita Lee from Mississauga. Rosita Lee, you are the winner of the Recovery Extra Strength and Curcumin. Congratulations, that's amazing. All right, we got one more winner, gang. Um, oh, maybe we have, no. Well, I could go live and just do two because usually we have three, but I have, anyway. We're gonna go up next and this is, um, I'm going to do out the, uh, do we have that right? Yeah. You don't know what I'm picking up. Okay. Vitality. This is the best adrenal support I've ever experienced. So I'm going to do a bonus prize just because this will change someone's life in a very good way. And I'm going to add in the, uh, evening calm, which is the Rishi and Ashwagandha. Okay. So we're going to do a sensation with a vitality for adrenal support on this. And... This winner is, we've got from Oxford Bay, Kim Gigney. Kim Gigney from Oxford Bay. And don't worry, gang, I've got the email. So if I've mispronounced your name, we do have the accurate email. So congratulations, that's amazing. And just because this is Purica's newest product and I'm super excited about it and just this past week, the reset testimonials have been amazing. I want to give one more individual the opportunity to get a reset digestively and um, just a follow up with the uh, intensive GI. So this is gonna give you over a month worth of probiotic to really set things up for spring for you. And we're gonna get such an amazing amount of entries too each week on this. This is pretty exciting. Okay, so looky look, don't look down. Here we go. Here's the winner here. Where do we got? We've got, I always get one name that is, okay. I apologize in advance, but again, I have your accurate email. It is Apton Parat. Apton Parat from Calgary, okay? I'm, I said Calgary like I'm not Canadian, Calgary, okay? So Calgary, uh, Apton Parat, you are the winner of the probiotic combo. So amazing prizes, amazing entries. I hope that if you have taken part in this 21 Days of Healthy Habits that you've enjoyed it, we would love your feedback. We have one more day um, tomorrow, which is the 21st day of 21 days. And like I said, you can, like I said before, you can go back and replay these videos. So if you incorporated two habits out of this entire 21 days, rewind them and pick two more and build on the success and momentum and confidence that you've gained from the first 21 days. And if you've only gotten, you know, one week of it, you can go on to purica.com healthy habits. Um, they've got the videos posted there so you can work your way through. And if you want to do one habit for the 21 days and then rewind and do another one from the second pillar and work your way through, you can make it a lifetime experience of incorporating healthy habits because remember you are what you repeatedly do and any new habit just has to be repeated okay so you can start today it's never too late to start it your results will will begin as soon as you do so 
Till next time, have an amazing day and uh, love you lots. Peace.